No one wants to die. Even people who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there, right? So for you, we propose a medical AI that can detect any kind of anomaly. Let's call it universal image diagnosis. In most cases, computer-aided diagnosis requires many training images of a specific disease to only detect this specific disease, like the above figure. But surely such a supervised method cannot detect other diseases. Moreover, what if we cannot prepare such many images? Let's say you encounter rare disease that doctors don't know well and thus often misdiagnosis. In such case, AI intervention is desperately needed, but you have no data. What should we do? We can alternatively use unsupervised anomaly detection. First, you train a reconstruction model like a gang and aura encoder only on massive healthy images. Second, you self-reconstruct a single healthy or any kind of pathological image, just like this figure. In this example, if a tumor image comes, reconstruction fails as the model is trained only on healthy images. So we can judge pathology based on outliers either in the London feature space world from high reconstruction loss. Accordingly, unsupervised methods can allot any anomaly to doctors without specifying what disease it is. However, those previous methods have disadvantages. They only target diseases easy to detect from a single image like lung cancer and brain tumor. But they cannot directly discriminate diseases composed of the accumulation of subtle anatomical anomalies such as Alzheimer's disease, in short, AD. Because they do not consider continuity between multiple adjacent images while our body is 3D, right? Therefore, we propose a method using gang-based multiple adjacent brain MRI slash reconstruction. Actually, our paper is already accepted to an international conference, CIBB 2019, because it's awesome and genuine. First, you train double gang GP plus L1 loss only on tons of healthy images over 1000 MRI scans. We use those losses since double gang GP loss stabilizes structure while L1 loss generalizes well only for unseen images similar to healthy training images. Second, instead of self reconstruction, you reconstruct the next three healthy or AD MRI slices from the previous three ones. Healthy MRI has clinical dementia rating CDR equals 0, while AD MRI has CDR equals 0 0.5, 1, and 2 depending on its disease stage. Lastly, we can judge AD based on high average L2 loss per scan. We compared many losses, but average L2 loss always outperformed the other losses since squared error like this formula is sensitive to outliers. Let's move on to the results. Reconstruction succeeds only when given images contain less anomalies. This is because parts of AD brains are enlarged compared with healthy brains. So like this figure, CDR equals 0 reconstructs well and CDR equals 2 reconstructs terribly. Automatically, images with higher CDRs show bigger losses. So comparing calculated losses, our method achieves excellent area on the curves, AUCs, especially for higher CDRs. It achieves AUC 0.7a, 0.83, 0 0.92 respectively. To summarize, this is the first multiple MRI slash reconstruction, the first unsupervised anomaly detection across different disease stages, and the first unsupervised AD diagnosis. Since our method is unsupervised like physician's way of diagnosis, massive healthy data can reliably detect AD and also any other disease. We'll further apply this to various diseases including rare disease. So we are now collecting the data from NCGM hospital I belong to. We've already collected over 200 brain MRI scans with diverse diseases. Moreover, we plan to improve our method like networks and losses. For this, I will have a visiting period next month at the Department of Radiology, University of Cambridge, the most prestigious university in Europe and also in the world. So, please invest in us, invest for the future. We protect health and save lives, including rare disease patients. Just like this figure, doctors can easily notice any anomaly allotted by AI and they can save tremendous people within 5 years since more than 1 out of 10 people live with some type of rare disease. You might be one of them. Trust us, I already have tons of publications in this field of medical imaging, much more than any student in Japan. You know, I'm among the very top students of majoring AI. Thank you.